Hello everyone, in this video let us take a look at a script fragment and understand how we can insert a custom web item on our scrum board. In case you are using Jira software then I'm sure you are familiar with the a scrum board where you have uh, your planning board and you also have your sprint section where you can take a look at your active sprints and basically your uh, board where you can manage your cards you can move them from uh, one column to another column so we all are using uh, scrum based uh, uh, projects in uh, jira software but sometimes you may want to include more uh, functionality for example, if you take a look at uh, this uh, this board, I have uh, my uh, sprints and by the way, I'm talking about uh, a planning board where I have my sample sprints if there is a sprint running and I also have a backlog. And uh, when you click on these uh, uh, these issues, uh, when you click on the issue, uh, when you do a left click, uh, your uh, section on the right hand side will show you some details of uh, this issue you can take a look at uh, of course your uh, your issue uh, summary your description and uh, other fields and when you when you right click on it you can do few things like uh, you can send this issue to top of the backlog if it is not already on top maybe to bottom of backlog you can delete the issue you can do few other things so these are some options and uh, uh, in this video i want to show you how you can use script runner to add some more functionality for example maybe you want to have uh, your own uh, menu item here and you want to do something with this particular issue so let us see how we can do that so if you go to your uh, script uh, fragment section under your uh, script runner uh, you will find this option called a planning board context menu item. If you click on it, you will be presented with uh, a form where you can, uh, or maybe you can do some configurations. You can create this new menu item and you can decide where you want to place it and what you want to do with it. So let us uh, do something with this uh, feature. Let us uh, create uh, a new menu item, uh, a new menu item that we want to place in our uh, in our planning board so i want to name it as uh, maybe uh, new link or maybe i'll probably uh, uh, give it some meaningful uh, note and uh, i just want to uh, see what i can do here so i'll probably uh, log my work so i want maybe a new menu item that will appear uh, here in this particular menu uh, in this particular option here when I'm looking at my issue within my planning board and I want a new option here that will let me and other users to log their work. So this is just something that I want to do and uh, I can add a note log work and if I want to have this new menu item everywhere, everywhere on my board or I can just uh, have this uh, on uh, issues under my active sprint so i can decide uh, whether i want this uh, maybe applicable to all the issues so when i want uh, this uh, option to log work i think it makes more sense when you uh, are logging work on issues that are within your active sprint so if the sprint is running you want maybe this new option to appear so that people people can actually easily log their work and uh, maybe i want to give this a new key so log work key you can just uh, do it very quickly and uh, then the important part here is to give this menu web item some uh, name and you can also have some conditions so this is uh, really good you can always have uh, some conditions uh, that will uh, prevent this menu item from uh, appearing and uh, i don't really want any condition i'll just leave it as it is but uh, that is something that you can always do and what do you want to do when you click on the menu item you may want to navigate to a different link so uh, previously we saw one example we we had a chance we we, we basically uh, clicked on link and we sent the user to Google or you, you can probably do something else. So you can define your own custom link and uh, you can also run some code by maybe uh, 
using some REST API. So maybe if you have defined some custom REST endpoint within your Jira, so that is something that you can also do using a script runner. We'll probably take a look at uh, those examples later on, but there are different things that you can do here. So you can see here that we already have a lot of options, some ready-made options. So uh, you can um, run a code and you can display some dialogue and uh, you can uh, run a code and show a flag or you can assign the issue to someone, you can comment on the issue and uh, you have a lot of other things, some, some options that you can choose, you know, uh, out of the box. But what I want to do is I want to log my work. So let us select log work and uh, let us take a look at uh, the preview. So this particular fragment will, uh, we, I mean, it seems to be working. It will generate this XML and it will uh, insert it in our in our Jira instance. Uh, so let us first uh, add this and uh, go back to our issue. So we have this new um, new log work menu item that should appear. So let us uh, refresh this page. I'm looking at my uh, planning board in one of my project. So let us first take a look at the sprint which is running and if I do a right click I now have this new option called log work, which is quite simple. I mean, we were able to do this by simply using the interface without writing any code. So if you click on it, uh, you will be presented with the option to log your time, which is great. And I think it will save time for the users because uh, they don't really need, need to go to the issue and then, uh, you know, click on the work log. You can easily make use of this feature in a script runner using script fragment to increase the productivity of your team. So this is all I wanted to share in this video and uh, I hope uh, you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you very much.